In this video, I will show you how to use a low-powered computer Raspberry Pi to mine Shiba Inu coin. There is a certain requirement on the Raspberry Pi computer. You must use Raspberry Pi that have at least 4GB of RAM. And the rest of the requirement includes you need to have at least 8GB of microSD card. Uh, any Raspberry OS operating system is fine either 32 bits or 64 bit is fine and you need to have a proper cooling solution mining is going to generate a lot of heat well I'm not going to go through how to set up a Raspberry Pi OS you can search any YouTube they have comprehensive instruction on how to load them after you prepare your Raspberry Pi now you can use any computer to connect to the Raspberry Pi through SSH I'm using Twister OS. Do note that I have already done all the steps before, so I'm just going to show you what command that you need to issue in order to get latest and greatest uh, system upgrade and make sure everything is clean before we proceed. So you sh should just ignore the hash in front and just type all the command that follow behind. Okay, by now you are rebooting your Raspberry Pi. You just wait for it to come back, maybe a minute. Then you can log in again by issuing the same command SSH to your Raspberry Pi. After you log in, then you can continue to install this uh, Raspbian and Spawn 64. Do note that if your OS is already at 64 bit, you don't have to do this step. Installing Raspbian and Spawn 64 will take some time, so just sit back and relax. After everything is installed, you can proceed to open up the S64 shell. If you are using any OS that is already 64 bit, you can skip this step. Now we need to install the dependency for XM Rig Miner. Since I already have all the dependency installed, I'm just going to type in the command here. Again, this might take some time to install. After the installation completed, you can create one directory to start downloading the XM rig. Download the XM rig from GitHub. CD to XMRIC, create one directory called build and CD into build, then you can start to build the installer. Once the installer is built, now we can compile the binary. Once the compilation is done, you should be able to see there is a file, XMRIC, built in your directory. 
next we need to get the atomic wallet so we can get the Shiba Inu receive address After you have finished building the XMRIG binary, now you want to get the configuration.json file. The quick and easy way I found out is to go to this XMRIG GitHub page and download the source file from here. First we make a temporary directory. and download it here once we have the file downloaded we need to extract it now we just need the configuration.json file so we will copy this uh, config.json file to our compiled binary location and we can remove the temporary file now what we need to do is to modify this configuration.json file to include the Shiba Inu receive address Now we need to modify this URL So the URL you can get it from a mineable mining pool You can see the address here is this one You can copy this Next you want to modify your wallet address The wallet address have this formatting where you need to specify the coin type, the receiver address and as well as the worker name separated by a colon as well as a full stop. Copy the address here, paste the address here, then your worker name as well as the refer number this refer number will allow you to mine at a lower mining fee of 0.75% instead of the original 1% so I will recommend you to input this refer number If you would like to limit the thread count that is running on your Raspberry Pi, you can include these two lines. CPU 0, CPU 1 and CPU 2 will be used for mining and I will leave one CPU for system process. Save. After finishing setting up the config.json file, we can start the miner by using this command screen so we can put it into a screen session and close the terminal later. Session name, I name it Shiba Ship and the program itself as well as the JSON. Initial data set will need four threads to kickstart, right? After it process all the data set and move on to the final data set, then it will go back to three threads as how we define in the config.json file. Now it 
go back to three threads. To put this miner into background session, just type Ctrl A and D. Then you can safely close the terminal by exiting. To check your miner status, just visit unminable.com under Shiba Inu coin and then you just enter your wallet address and hit search then it will show you the miner status as well as the number of coin you mine do remember to use this referral number to get lower mining fee happy mining